So, I'm just going to give you guys an example, especially for people who don't know me. Well, who knows you anyway? So you see, I've always been a very inner circle person, so I remain in this circle. I don't even used to go to sleep in someone's house because I used to feel very shy or awkward. I didn't like sleeping in anyone else's bed or in anyone else's house. So I used to stay in this little circle. Then I remember as I got older, I got pushed into Tabliq. And Tabliq, as you know, you have to go to a masjid and stay there uh, and sleep on the floor with random people you don't know sometimes. Sometimes you do know them, of course, they're friends from the mosque or people from the mosque. So that circle grew. It was very awkward. I used to get constipation from the stress and I used to get all sorts of problems. And I remember crying a lot, making dua to Allah, oh Allah, all these guys are talking so nicely and they have so much confidence and I don't have it. And my dad's like, look at this boy, he can talk for half an hour. He can do a bayan without, he can do a lecture without, you know, stuttering, without any issues. And I remember making a lot of dua and then that outer circle grew and the confidence level grew and it was a struggle each circle that i increased it became more of a struggle and because it was outside my comfort level at the moment when i moved to a different country took all my money put it into another country invested and the circle grew beyond my natural limits because to go to a different country is not easy so it's the most difficult thing probably any human being can do to migrate, to do hijra, to leave everything behind. It's very difficult. So, it was just that circle kept growing, you know. And people think it's very easy. It's not easy, it's very difficult. And it plays on your mind all the time, especially when you have personal problems that are coming at the same time, which life is going to always bring personal problems. So that outer circle, as you grow more wider and wider, the struggles, stress, are going beyond your limitations now. And as you go beyond your limitations, you can either do bad things, haram things, wrong things to keep your, give yourself comfort or some sort of buzz to keep going. Or you can cry to Allah, you know, kneel before Allah, beg before Allah. And that's what the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu is. And of all the Prophets, Anbiya Alayhi Salaam and companions and Sahaba anhum and pious people, is they used to kneel down, read two rakats and cry to Allah. So, just to let you know, this is what life is. You know, it's about the more you stay inside your comfort zone, everything's easy because you're part of a group. Your group stays the same. Your friends stay the same. Your day and night stay the same. Your week and weekend stay the same. But when you grow out of the circle, things start to get messy. And then you have to adjust to it. Then the next circle comes and then you have to adjust to that. And the wider you go, the bigger the problems sometimes and the more confusing the problem. I wouldn't say bigger. But definitely more confusing the problems become because they're new and the people to help you and support you are also not there so it kind of makes it quite confusing so that's when you turn to Allah because you don't know who else to turn to but I definitely assure you the highs of that circle the outer circle are also very high and the enjoyments and the buzz and the excitement and the knowing the unknown has its own entertainment and beauty but it comes with other risks because now you have to rely on Allah. You don't have that little circle to protect you, you know. You don't have the backup. You don't have, you know, the only backup is Allah in many ways. So some people to jump from that circle to a big circle takes time. Some people drag themselves slowly into the outer circle. Some people just jump, leap. And it's all according to a person's iman and faith. That person then leaps and relies completely on Allah. And as Allah says in, the, in, in this hadith, that you know, uh, the person who relies completely on Allah, Allah will provide for them like Allah provides for the birds. And the birds, as you see, they come out, the adult bird comes out from the nest, leaves the children inside the nest, and then it goes in search for food. And every day Allah provides the uh, you know, bird with fresh food, you know, and then it brings it back in its beak the leftover food to its children and then it gives it to them. In the same way a lion eats fresh meat. It doesn't like to eat dead meat. It likes to eat fresh meat. And Allah provides for it. You don't find birds dying because of starvation, because they don't have a 9-to-5 job, because they don't have a fridge freezer to store their food. Animals just get food because they have reliance on Allah. So the true, true tawakkul on a person comes when 
he puts himself, she puts himself into that leap of faith. You know, then Allah shows them the the truth. Like, I don't know, maybe a stupid example. Spider-Man, <laughs> if you've seen the first one, he can't start doing his web until he jumps. It's only when he jumps, Matrix. It's only when he jumps does the, does the leap of faith. Uh, so that's all it's about. You know, a person needs to sometimes do that. But I'm not pushing anyone to do that. Not everybody's iman and faith is on that level. But I'm just trying to tell you that doing hijrah, moving to a different country has many whirlwinds that you're going to go part around. And those that have been in this whirlwind laugh about it when they hear about other people's you know, issues. And they may feel it's being rude, but it's because we've been there, we've done that. Do you understand? So many people from the group, they meet some of the new people who've joined and they, you know, they tell them their problems and hardships and whatnot. And, you know, to be honest, we just find it amusing because <laughs> we've been through all of that. You know, and sometimes even worse than what they're going through. So it is what it is, you know. The more you go through that outer circle, the more you're going to gain. Do you understand? The more higher level of iman and faith you have to reach. You know, so the more sacrifice you make. Those who strive and struggle in our cause, we will surely guide them. Without the struggle, without the sacrifice, you cannot reach the higher levels. So may Allah give us tawfiq to to do it with afia, with goodness, with as much ease as possible. But remember, you know, the good things are surrounded by many hardships. You know, and the, the easy things, the, the, the bad things, they're usually surrounded by lots of comforts and easiness. And, and it's just more uh, easier to go towards. So may Allah give us tawfiq to uh, utilize us for the maximum benefit of his deen and our progeny to come. Ameen.